breaking exclusive news about Star Trek Legacy. We know what the plan is, we know when it's going to be, and we know how Paramount are paying for it. Welcome to Sidetrack, your sci-fi TV and movie channel. Now, Ensign. Thank you. Number one. You're so very welcome, Captain. Helmet goes without saying to ignore everything he just said. I usually do. All right, this is a shakedown. Okay, so this news came in literally overnight from one of my sources over at Amazon. Now, I do have a really good source um, over at Paramount as well, and they were also able to confirm this. So I am not putting this in the rumor category, people. We are putting this in the this is what is happening category. And what is happening? Well, as I've told you repeatedly, Paramount have always planned to do the Legacy series. It was not if... But when? The problem? They don't necessarily want to pay for it, or at least not all of it. They were looking for a partner. That partner was always going to be Amazon. And I can now confirm that that deal has actually been signed, that there is a deal between Amazon and Paramount to produce Star Trek Legacy. But there's even more to it than we were expecting. We'll come back to that in a second. So, so first of all, let's talk about Legacy. How is this actually going to work? Where are we going to be able to see it? Well, the deal is between, as I say, Amazon Prime and Paramount. The show will air towards the end of next year, and this will actually be a prelude to the Picard movie. Now, that actually is really interesting because what we heard originally was that the TV series was going to follow the movie. So events of the Picard movie would lead into Star Trek Legacy. It now seems that the opposite is true. And actually, the first season of Star Trek Legacy will show and the Picard TNG movie will follow. Now, I think that's really interesting and really exciting because it basically means that the Picard TNG movie really is going to be a big event so star trek legacy on our screens by the end of this year where will we be able to see it well, so i'm being told this is going to be very similar to the um picard deal where we will see it on paramount plus um on say the thursday but that will only be in the united states it will then air internationally on prime and paramount plus then the next day so this is a three-day basically delivery paramount plus on the thursday prime on the friday everywhere else in the world on Paramount that they deliver Paramount on the Saturday. This is how that will work. And for that, Prime will actually pay Paramount up to 30% of the production costs for the show. Now, that is a decent chunk of money for the deal they're getting. Why have Paramount done this? Well, as we've told you repeatedly, it's not if but when with this series. It was always going to happen. But Paramount desperately need to cut costs. Bosses over at Paramount have decided that costs need to drop by at least 30% across all of the TV shows. So Secret Hideout need to make those savings. The only way they can do it is by either cutting the cost of the television show dramatically or by bringing in other partners that will foot at least part of the bill. That is what's going to be happening with most of Star Trek moving forward. And again, will lead into another reason why actual Secret Hideout is going to be changing to Star Trek Studios at some point in the next 12 months. If you're enjoying the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that thumbs up, leave a comment and all those things. But also go and check us out on patreon.com forward slash sidetrack. Most of our videos do premiere there first. This video actually premiered nearly 10 hours before it did on YouTube. And a lot of our videos actually premiere 24 hours before they do on YouTube. So go over, check that out. So why do I mention the Picard movie and how this is also part of that deal? So I have to say straight off the bat, I don't know if this is going to include Section 31, but I suspect it might. Or any of the other TV movies that Secret Hideout and Paramount are planning. But again, I suspect it might. But it seems for Picard, there is a deal in place now that the Picard movie that will, again, follow Legacy, will actually premiere on Prime first, behind a paywall. So it'll actually be something we have to initially rent if we want to see it. It will then, after a few weeks, premiere on Paramount+. Plus. So when this movie comes out, first of all, it'll be on Prime, but you'll have to pay maybe like $5.99 or whatever to watch it. And then it'll move over to Paramount+, Plus, where we'll all be able to see it as part of our Paramount+, Plus subscription. So when will this be announced? When will filming be happening? And obviously the big question, will Terry Metalis be involved? 
Well, first of all, I'm being told this is actually going to be announced in the summer. This agreement between Prime and Paramount is just the first step. They have basically now been able to figure out the how and they will start building towards the when. The idea, though, currently is that this will film um, back to back with the movie and that filming will start roughly um, the middle to late summer. The announcement will be sometime in early summer. So we will get the announcement and that should then follow on three or four months later when filming starts. As I say, the idea being that the series will hit our screens by the end of late 2025 and the movie will follow a couple of months after that. And I really do think the Picard movie, I think it's actually going to be a TNG movie, if I'm honest, and obviously a legacy crossover, is really going to be touted by Paramount as a big Star Trek event. It's really going to be the big thing in early 2026. I think they're going to actually throw everything at this project. Finally, Terry Metalis, is he going to be involved? Well, I actually dropped this news, oh God, six months ago or so exclusively, that Paramount still consider Terry Metalis to be the preferred um, showrunner, producer, potentially even writing a um, significant portion of the series and maybe even getting involved in the movie. But he does have a very busy schedule at the moment. He's currently writing and producing Witch Mountain for Disney. He's also involved in another project, The Last American Vampire. He's also written several other projects he's trying to get going. So he's very busy at the moment. But Paramount do have a backup plan. Somebody else from Secret Hideouts will show run in co-partnership with Jonathan Frakes, who will take a much more leading role with the legacy and potentially the um, Picard movie as well. He would be directing and he would be far more involved in a production side as well. It, to be honest, it's the next logical step for Jonathan Frakes with Star Trek, who he's been getting more and more involved with Secret Hideouts projects, obviously very, very involved in Strange New Worlds as well, and actually getting more involved in the management show run inside of it is really just the next logical step for him. Um, I think Jonathan Frakes, though, may not appear in the movie and the series much. I think it's far more likely that the Riker character will be a little bit more in the background if he appears in either at all. So just to recap then, this deal between Prime and Paramount has been agreed. It will be announced at some point in the next four or five months, I suspect at one of the early big conventions, maybe even San Diego Comic Con, even though that's June. So I think that might be a bit later. I think it might be on something a bit sooner than that. So um, you guys get into the comments and tell me when you think this will be announced. But this is the first step, the business decision. It's the how. Now they will start figuring out the when. And once all those things are lined up, I'm certain this will be announced really quickly. This will be on our screens by late 2025 and the movie will follow in early 2026. That is what is agreed right now. Now, obviously, things can go horribly wrong. And I suspect actually what happens to Paramount in the next 12 months could massively affect all of these deals. At the end of the day, Paramount are still behaving as if they're going to exist in 12 months. But new owners might change this from top to bottom. Let's see what happens from a business point of view with Paramount in the next 12 months and see if Star Trek gets affected. I'm hoping not though, because this does seem to be part of a bigger five year plan for Star Trek. And obviously I think this TNG movie stroke legacy movie could actually be really, really big for Paramount. And I'm hoping the new owners will consider that when they're making any decisions. But guys, get into the comments and tell me what you think about this exclusive breaking news. Is this something you're excited by? Is it going to take too long? Do we want it on our screen sooner? But you know, these things do take a while. And is this something you expected or is this a complete surprise? Get into the comments and tell me exactly what you think. If you are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. It really helps us out and you'll never miss any of our new videos. Also, you can go to patreon.com forward slash sidetrack where this video did premiere first. And actually, a lot of our videos do premiere at least 24 hours before they do on YouTube over on the Patreon channel. So please go and check it out. Also, you can go to sidetrack.co.uk, which is our dedicated website. And we do stories based on most of our videos. So please go and check that out too. As always, please stay safe. And I'll see you next time. Bosses over at Paramount have decided that all of the TV shows cost... <laughs>